G'day, it's Rusty from Rusty's Outback Adventures and in today's video we're going to be installing one of these into the exhaust system. During the upgrades to the Navara we installed a 3 inch exhaust system from the turbo back. Now I thought I got a really good deal online with the price uh, and when it turned up it turned out that the system I'd bought was a straight through system and there was no muffler in it. So yeah we thought we'd, we'd give it a try Unfortunately, it, it's not that it's too loud, it's just that it's, it drones a bit in the car. So when you're sitting on highway speed, cruising 100 k's an hour, yeah, you get this sort of drone in the car. So we're going to install this bad boy. Um, this is a 3 inch, I guess about 15 inch uh, muffler. And we're going to install it in the location where the original muffler used to fit. So I'll just crawl onto the car and I'll show you what it looks like under there. Okay, I hope you can see this. Now, there's a flange here. There's an exhaust mount having here. And this is the tin cover where the muffler used to be. And if we look down here, uh, there's another bracket here. So the plan is, if I can get myself out the way, the plan is, is to put this in there. So... The pipe is not quite straight, I've just noticed. I'll just give you a quick look at that. There's actually two dog legs in this pipe from, from the bracket. So there's a slight kink here, slight kink there. So in the, further behind that bracket, there's another flange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that flange, drop the front flange, and I'm going to see if I can line the pipe up, and we're going to have to weld it in. Now this muffler has got um, oversized ends, so the pipe, original pipe will fit inside this. Um, this is 77 inside, this is 75, so we'll be able to get that pipe in. And I'm going to measure from the weld to this weld, and then that'll give me this inch and a half overlap on the pipe. So I've got to work out where the best fit is for this, and uh, I'll measure that. Well, I've marked the uh, pipe that I've pulled out. And I've referenced these welds, as I said before. So now I've got to cut the pipe here and along there. And then I can assemble it because that'll give me a 50 mil, give me a little 50 mil tail that'll go inside here. And then I can put it back in the car, line all the flanges up, bolt it all on, and then I can tack weld the muffler into the pipe while it's under there. And before we do that, it's important that you uh, disconnect the battery. So before I forget, I'm actually going to do that now. So, because uh, you don't want to be welding on the car while the battery's connected, because all that's going to do is um, possibly spark the electrics and you don't really want to blow anything up. So just to be on the safe side, we'll do this cack handed. I'm just going to take that... Uh, Disconnect the battery completely. Oh, put that out of the way. Don't want that touching. I'll just I'll just wedge the rag or something in there. There, that'll do. That's not going to touch. So now we can get on with uh, cutting that pipe. So now we've cut the uh, pipe, as you can see now this one will fit in there and I'll, this one will fit in there quite nicely if I can get it to go in, and so that goes in there. So now what we're going to do is crawl back under the car and refit the pipes, bolt up these uh, pipe supports and then I'll mark it and then I'll take the MIG welder underneath and we'll, we'll spot weld it in a couple of places then I can pull it all out and we can weld it up on the bench properly. Okay, so as you can see, I've bolted the pipe back in. I've just got the muffler the, sitting here. I've drawn a line at 50 mil. So that's sitting there. 
I've got that lined up. So now all I've got to do is bring the MIG, spot weld that, pull it out, weld it, and we can put it back in again. So I'll do that now. front pipe into the muffler but I'm not 100% happy with the weld the MIG weld underneath so I'm just going to tack this one up first actually I'm sorry I'm going to fully weld this this front one and then I'm going to put it back in align the section back the back section back up again and just do it again so just want to make sure I've got that yep that's the right way around All right, so I'll go ahead and weld this up So now the muffler is welded into the pipe and now it's just a matter of putting it back in the car. So the exhaust is welded up and I've fitted it to the vehicle again and it's all... That's Bill the Peacock, likes to have his say. Yep, so that's all in. And the battery's reconnected. It's always important to disconnect the battery if you do any welding. You don't want to damage any of the electrical system. And it's time to start the car and just see how that exhaust sounds. So it doesn't sound a lot quieter, <clears throat> but um, we'll just take it for a drive on the street and see how it sounds. Right, we're out on the road, just gonna try this exhaust, see if it's any different in the cab. Uh, we're up to 80k an hour, and around the 100 mark, just cruising along, you get this sort of droney, sort of monotonous noise which is okay for five minutes, but when you're on a trip that takes you hours and hours, it's a real pain. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear this, but I mean, that's 100k an hour, cruising along, a little bit of road noise off the wheels, but I mean, that sounds more than fine. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that, and I'm happy with the outcome, and it didn't take that long really to install the muffler. I suppose the moral of the story is if you uh, checking out a price online and you think it's a bit too good to be true, maybe it's, it's worth double checking to make sure what you're actually buying rather than uh, I think I know what I'm getting and then I bought an exhaust system without a, a muffler in it. So that's, uh, yeah, a bit of a lesson for uh, oh, next time I was going to say, but maybe there shouldn't be a next time, it should be all good. So if you have any questions about the uh, video, uh, please put them in the comments below. And if you like the video, a thumbs up would be great. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button's here somewhere, and give that bell a ring so you'll get notified of um, future videos. I'm trying to put them out every week. And if you'd like to check out the video where we did the well body to canopy conversion, I'll put a link up here somewhere. And uh, yeah, please check that out. So uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.